Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth, this is EJ Joyful Plans, and today we are pre-decorating my fitness slash health slash wellness uh, layout for the week of January 18th. Now this, let me just say that decorative planning came into my heart <laughs> and my mind um, through fitness and wellness tracking. So I am in the middle of a weight loss journey and I absolutely loved decorating my weekly layouts and then putting in data from my fitness, um, from my Apple Watch or my Fitbit when I originally started. And it was so much fun for me. It was highly motivating for me and my decorating got more and more opulent. And honestly, this is what got me to start a planner account on Instagram. It was this layout. It was having so much fun decorating this. So I have not done a layout in this style of planner here on YouTube, but this is this is like my bread and butter, at least in my real personal life. So I am excited to decorate this, though a little bit nervous as well, just because I haven't filmed it before. So one thing that we will be doing today is using, in some fashion, these Mambi sticks. I have been looking for letter Mambi sticks for months and months and months, and my Joann's never had them, and I'm pretty sure that the letters are exclusive to Joann's. So when I found them, I freaked out, and I got all three of the smaller ones. They're like giant ones. These are more like the, I guess, the medium size. So I picked these up. I'm not sure how I'm going to use them, but I know that I'm going to use them. So if you want to see how these Mambi sticks turn out in my fitness spread for the week of January 18th, din, din, then say it with me. Let's plan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's plan guys. Let's get to it. All right, guys, voiceover Elizabeth here. This video is going to be a little bit different in that I'm not going to talk you through every single detail that I'm doing on this spread because it will be pretty self-explanatory and I want to talk more about the function of this fitness layout. But I will say right off the bat, I did white out the center section of the page because I knew that I was going to put some flowers there and I didn't want them peeking out. This is the Uniball um, uh, white inked pen and I really like it for covering pretty, it's got really good opacity. So big fan of that pen. And I also end up picking, I was actually thinking about using the teal letters for um, one word and then the script, the black script letters for another word and I actually forgot as I was pulling stickers. So we are going exclusively with the teal and I'm flipping through the fun florals book to see if there are any florals that are a perfect match for the teal letters that would also bring some additional color onto the spread. And ultimately I land on which ones? Oh, and I'm also trying to figure out which do I have enough of to cover the amount of space that I wanna cover. And I land on, on those guys. And I'm just pulling out the letters that I want to use. I have really been struggling with motivation to get my fitness health back on track, walking regularly, um, really focused on eating well and losing some weight. And so my phrase for this week is just start because Elizabeth just needs to start. I spend so much time um, making plans that it often prevents me from the action of beginning. And I thought that seeing the words just start on my fitness spread would be a motivator this week to just start, just move a little bit every day. So that's where that came from. A little bit about me and my health and wellness journey. I have been overweight for most of my life. Um, right before I met my husband, I actually really got down to it with exercise and Weight Watchers. I lost a good amount of weight, but I kind of stalled and then I slowly gained it back. Um, slowly gained it back as I was uh, dating my husband. We got married and within the first year of my husband and I being married, my dad passed away and he was very um, close to me. I um, Just the definitely the wonderful patriarch of our family and it was a huge loss. 
And I really, at that point, um, not because of depression or anything like that, but I just, I just wanted to be healthy and joyful and, um, positive and other things. And so for me, that actually meant just kind of eating what I want, doing what I want. And within, um, a year of him passing away, my husband and I moved from Washington state to Texas. And that was another huge transition. We moved without jobs, without knowing anybody. And that really uh, also made it hard to kind of put myself and my body first. And fast forward to the pandemic and actually having some time to, um, I guess, be more attentive to my body. I realized there were some things that were off. I went to a doctor and was diagnosed with PCOS. So I know this is a lot going on, but I'm doing this just to share a little bit about my weight loss journey because I know that some people might say, well, just love yourself just the way that you are. I totally agree that we should love ourselves as we are. I believe that I have been made in the image of God and that he loves me no matter what. The people in my life love me no matter what, but I know when I am not feeling right, when my body isn't healthy. And with the diagnosis of the PCOS, the steady weight gain over about four years, I'm at this point where uh, those things need to be addressed. And on top of all of that, I am 37 years old and we don't have any kids and we would like to have kids at some point. But, you know, some of the uh, health things going on with me and as I get older, you know, it becomes more difficult to both conceive and to carry a successful pregnancy. So there are a lot of things going on in my life. This might be oversharing, but I just want you to understand a little bit more about me and why um, this phrase, just start, is particularly meaningful to me. And kind of to share a little bit about where I hope my life is going in 2021, which might impact the type of content that I put on my channel. Um, I hope to, you know, continue doing decorative spreads and to be vulnerable and authentic with you and some of my spreads very well may have to do with weight loss, may have to do with women's health tracking with my PCOS. You know, if we are lucky enough, blessed enough to um, to get pregnant, you know, that will be part of the plans that I am decorating. And so just lots of, um, lots of big things in 2021 and Certainly, um, I I am unable to separate my decorative planning and the and the spreads that I show people from the very real things that are happening in my life. So I might not share every intimate detail, and you might never hear of any of this again in any of my videos. But for this particular one, I really wanted to share with you where my heart's at, where I'm coming from especially in a climate where there's all, almost been a reverse of thought where people want to accept themselves just as they are, even if it means they're not being healthy or at an unhealthy weight. And for my personal goals, I am not at a healthy weight and I do need to lose weight. And it's it's all, uh, I just want to assure you, it is very healthy and thought-filled and um, there are there are reasons why I am doing this, and I'm just taking a moment to share that with you. So uh, I hope that this is helpful. I hope it shows you a little bit more about who I am, what I'm about, uh, what my angle is with uh, weight loss spreads or fitness tracking spreads. And uh, again, I, I don't think that I will talk about this a lot in future videos unless there's an overwhelming sense that people want to hear more about my weight loss journey. So I guess leave a comment down below if, if uh, chatty let's plan videos are helpful to you, specifically when I'm doing uh, fitness spreads. If I'm showing you a fitness spread, do you wanna hear how I'm doing um, with my weight loss goals? I, I'm curious, I may or may not share, but I, I'd love to know if that's something you're interested in. So in going back to the decorative planning, 
I am basically taking all of the stickers, cutting them in half or about in half, and splitting them on either side of the just start. I really just wanted it to look like like they're framing the word and or the words and I also wanted them to kind of bleed out onto the page. I first started following Stephanie from Squared Plans a couple years ago on probably when she first started and that's where I got uh, my principal from and that is where I originally got the idea to play around with the boxes. She is infamous for using decorative stickers in that center section and I love the way that it looks. Suddenly, you know, it being revealed to me that we are not stuck with the lines on paper just totally opened up my creativity and that's that's honestly where where this idea came from of using the center boxes for for decorating. So we're getting to the point where I'm just fine tuning all the stickers and I'm going to speed things up just a bit and get us to the point where we are starting to add more of our functional boxes. So let's do that. All right, friends, I think we are done with the florals for now and we are moving into little boxes where I'm gonna put my step count for each day. These boxes were from the Mega Florals sticker book. The flowers are a little bit different, but they were the closest that I could find, so I'm just, I'm just going with it. And I really like having my daily step count highlighted in some way on these weekly spreads. I put a larger box on Sunday. That is my weigh day. So I'll put stats in there, but also my weigh in for the week. Now I've grabbed the colorful boxes book. I am going to use these boxes to mark on each day some sort of physical activity that I am doing on purpose. Intentional movement is what I'm calling it. And I call it intentional movement because, you know, taking the dog over to the park um, to me isn't quite intentional enough. It's not for me. It's not a workout for me. It's for the purpose of taking the dog for exercise. So um, for a while, I was kind of cheating and counting taking the dog for a walk as intentional movement. And it really it's not i need to go walking without the dog so i can control the speed at you know my, the pace of my speed um and really have it be about me not about the dog so i'm widening out the lines because i just don't want to see them popping out underneath the sticker this is never necessary i'm just extra <laughs> and at this point as i'm doing it i realize i want to move intentionally every day this week Every day, the week of the 18th, I'm going to move intentionally for myself every day, which means I, not, I need a box for every day. So I have to go back and lift up the colorful boxes so I can make room for a third box. And I'm, I'm not going to make any requirements about the length of time that I'm walking or um, getting my heart rate up to a certain pace. I think that will... I think that will happen um, just naturally as I start moving. My goal for this week in starting small is to just start. And that means intentionally moving for any length of time for myself without the dog every day this week. So do you guys do that? Do you move intentionally for yourself every day? Once I get into an actual workout routine and I... Um, update my gym membership. I will have specific days where, you know, I am working out. I won't do it every day, but this is really, again, what's the phrase for the video? This is just about starting, just getting my, my body moving. But do let me know if you, if you walk every day and maybe share with all of us the things that it helps with. Um, both physically and just your, maybe your uh, mental and emotional health. I think walking is a really great place to start. I hate walking, truth be told. I think it is so boring, but when I finish, I'm so glad that I did it. My body feels better. 
uh, mentally I feel energized and I'm just proud of myself for getting up and moving. Um, so there are definitely some, some benefits to walking, even if it's not the most fun thing to do in the world. So there is on this printable, a hydration section down in the lower left corner. I have a difficult time using it because I never know quite um, how many drops to fill out. I did ask Stephanie at some point and it just, it isn't working for me. So I wide it out and I'm just putting some um, flowers down in the corner to cover up the white out. I do think it is important to track your water intake, and that's something that I will do, I want to do, but um, this particular method isn't quite, quite um, for me the way to do it. I grabbed a purple box. This is really just to match the boxes on the top of the spread. I'll probably maybe put an inspirational quote or maybe something about water or goals in that box. So we're almost done. I felt like January up at the top needed to, I don't know, mirror what was going on with the Just Start. So I do frame January with some flowers on either side. And I'm glad that I did that because it was looking a little naked up there. And it also is a good way to use up sticker scraps. So I think I had a few extra pieces laying around that didn't make it onto the spread or that I had cut off from the spread. And all I did was replace them on the um, up at the top. And it looks really cute. I, I like what it added to to the top of the page. All right, guys, we are done. What do you think? It's so pretty. This is exactly what I needed to jumpstart my fitness journey. I'm three weeks into January and very behind, but that's not the point. The point is that I just start, and that's what we're doing this week. So I know that it's not wintry. It's very pastel -y, very eastery, very springy, but this is what I needed to get started. So uh, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and pre-decorating with me. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them in the description, not the description box, leave them in the comment box down below. And until next time, guys, God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. And I will see you guys in my next video. Cheers, guys.